Well done. Listen, I've discovered the only way into the smokestack. Through the engine room. Find that notebook. Helping the Tsar will help us too. It's great that my conversations with her are so very brief. Anyways, now we're going back down here again, and guess what we gotta do again? Well, she's still running rough. You're so clever last time, you can't have a go again. Right. There's a game. And they just said the same thing. And then, once again, you gotta do the puzzle, which actually is a little bit harder to do this time. Because some of the stuff changes around a bit. Other than that, though, it's an easy puzzle overall. And in this playthrough, I don't do the doll puzzle, which I despise the doll puzzle in this game. Which is why I refuse to do it. But anyways, you get it into the green again. Cheers, mate. And he lets you go through again. Alrighty, and this is the way up to this last smokestack. And who's that up ahead? I don't know, but this would be a good time to save as any. Let's get to it. It's Vlad. You have interfered in my affairs for the last time. What did I do? You were the one who stole the ruby. Oh. Prepare to die at the hands of Serbia. Alrighty, time for an epic battle. And yeah, this is pretty much as exciting as this fight gets. They uh, took a whole bunch of pictures of the actor just looking like he's in pain and having him nowhere next to you. Just kind of, you just keep punching him in the neck and the gut, and, and that's all you have to do to win. You can basically just keep this strategy up without getting hit once. I remember when I was a kid, I think he beat me like three times, and then I figured out his strategy. This guy was annoying. But now he's just really, really easy. You see, you thought the uh, performances were wooden in Mortal Kombat. Well, using real life actors for your fighting engine isn't always the best thing in the world. Especially since this guy's fist looks like something from 3D Movie Maker. Wah! Fatality! Oh no, 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 wait, that was an uppercut, so it'd be more like a whoopsie! Or toasty! Alright, now this is the smokestack. And the smokestack is actually another puzzle. Because, um, there's actually four ways that the smokestack changes its layout. And I actually went through this without a mistake. I was really surprised myself. I get right up to the top without having to backtrack or anything. Like I said, I was surprised myself. And you look around and there's the notebook. Yes, we got... Where'd you come from? I think that notebook is for me. Please. Oh, no. It's the bad I'm guy. Who you are. The agents have our secrets, yes? I'm not an agent. What are you talking about? Thank you for finding it. The village would have appreciated your effort. Cold, isn't it? I've maintained climate is the crucible of civilization. Dude, don't change Culture the topic while you're pointing a gun climate. at me. It is the tropic and arctic zones of which breed barbarism. Russia, for instance. So he was working for the Russians, eh? Eh? Wait, the I knew Jewish that already. Living in exile. Germany supports these men. <laughs> they are called communists. Oh. They provide assistance, small courtesies, and uh, wherever possible, financial encouragement. One of these men is moving to Krakow soon. Charles Again, another history Krakow. lesson. Please tell me the which of the anti-Severus... Oh, sorry about that. Please tell me which of the communists was course. actually the one who was going there. So I thought. He was a Russian agent who was going to turn those names over to the Okrana, the Russian secret service. Dave would kill them. Secretly, of course, but kill them just the same. They would they kill them all, and the even though no one knew, they die! Be secure, um, be thanks? Isn't that what you that do when you kill someone? Allowed. Not when there are wars to be planned for. <laughs> now then, the notebook. Oh, and now we've come to the moment of truth! The Titanic hitting the iceberg! And of course, Cyberflix was actually so precise with their information for this game that they even followed um, the procedure, you know, 
You know how James Cameron's all like, yeah, there should be a huge-ass gash in the side of the ship in this movie? That's actually not what happened with the Titanic. What happened is when the iceberg collided with the side of the Titanic, it made it so, because the iron was made so cheap, the plates buckled, it caused all the rivets to break, and the ship slowly started taking in water. An it ice. didn't create a huge gash. They run into an iceberg, the idiots! Incompetence! I will be taking that notebook now. All right, fine, just stop pointing that Thank gun you. at me. These names won't be disembarking in New York. Neither, I am afraid, are you. Ah! Oh gosh, I just got shot. What happened? Ah! Oh, are you for real? Uh, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the whole first hour of disc two. Now we're moving on to the final part. We got to get all the artifacts off of the ship and get ourselves on a lifeboat. So, see you there.